and today I'm going to show you how to make the French braid bracelet design. I did not invent this design, this design was created by Tutorials by A. I am just creating another tutorial for it. This design looks best when you use just two colors of rubber bands, and you don't even need a loom because you're only because you're only using two pegs. So you really could do it on your fingers, or you could do it on sticks or anything. So it's okay if you don't have a loom. I'm going to be you. Can, you will also need a hook, or you can also use your fingers if you're doing it on your fingers. But when you're doing it on the loom, it's a lot easier to use your hook. I'm going to be using the rainbow loom metal tip tuck. And so for my two colors of bands, I'm going to be using teal and purple. You're going to need about 50 bands for this design, so about 25 of each, of each color. Without further ado, we're going to begin. So, we're going to take our first color, and I'm going to be using teal for my first color. And we're going to stretch it across two pegs. I'm going to stretch it from this peg to this peg, just like that. I'm going to push it down, and then we take another band, and I'm going to be using purple, and we stretch it across the same two bands. I mean, two pegs. This is the only pegs we are going to be using throughout the whole bracelet, so you won't have to worry about doing, anything, doing any other pegs. And then you're going to take another teal band, and you're going to push this one down and stretch it across like that. Now you have three rubber bands, and just like you would in the fishtail design, you are going to grab, with your hook, you are going to grab the bottom band over the top, and same with the other side, bottom band over the top. That's all we have to do. We weren't pulling back, going behind anything or anything. So now we're going to lay our next color, which is going to be purple. And we're just going to lay it across those two pegs again. And now we are going to take, for this side, we are going to take the middle band. So I'm going to take the teal band. We're just going to take that middle band. We're not pushing anything back. And we're going to pull it over the top. And now on this side, we're going to take the bottom band and pull it over the top. So there we go with that. And now we're going to add our next color which for me it is teal. And now since last time um, we leave the middle over the top, we're going to leave the bottom over the top. And for this one, since we leave the bottom over the top last time, we're going to leave the middle over the top. So now we have that. And we're going to lay our next band, which for me is purple. There we go, like that. Now, here's a little trick that you can use to remember whether you need to grab the middle or the bottom. So, for these, for this side, you see on this side where there's two bands of the same color, side by side? That is the side that you are always going to grab the bottom band and pull it over. Now, and so, you know, the next side, you're going to grab the middle band. So it's as easy as that to remember. Just have to do this. And then we're going to add another band. I'll walk you guys through this like a few more times, and then I'll show you how to tie it off or finish it. So now that there are two colors of two of the same color of bands on this side, we are going to grab the bottom one and pull it over the top. And for this one. We're going to grab the middle one. Once again, we just need to add, add that band across the two pegs. And because this one has the two colors, we're going to grab the bottom one. And because this one has the different colors, we're going to grab the middle one. And, oops, my hook got stuck. Let's see, we have that. And you can kind of see, see it forming. And now we are going to add our next color. Let's see? And then bottom band, middle band. Oops, I accidentally looped both of those. I'm just going to push that one back down. And look, now you can see 
And you'll see our French braid design forming. Oops, lost the thing. See how that has the one side, that, and the other side, the other way. So that's pretty cool. And I'll be right back with my Once Mine Is Long Enough, and I will show you how to take it off the loom. So here we are, a little way into the design. I've got my French braid like this so far. Now you may have noticed in the beginning, it doesn't exactly look like the pictures, but you just have to wait a while, because then it'll just all form itself out. Now if you made a mistake, like if you forgot which one you need, which, whether you need to loop the middle or the bottom over, that's okay, that mistake happens a lot. Um, I've made it a lot before, but you just have to remember that method, because you see, when we've got that, well, we've got those two bands of the same color. You just want to grab the... Oh, I need to add another band first. When you've got those two bands of the same color right there, you just want to grab that bottom one over, and then middle one of the same color over. It's easy as that, and then your, and then your French braid will form. I think, personally, that this is a super cool design. And you can wear it as a ring because it's not too thick, or you can wear it as a bracelet because it's not too thin. Now I need you guys' opinion. I want you to say in the comments, do you think this will make a good strap for a rainbow loom purse? Because I've made because I've made one, but I do not have a strap for it yet, and I'm still considering making this my strap. So comment your opinion, and I just wanted to stop to say that to, so you guys could have that little word. And I'll be right back to show you how to take it off the loom. Now I'm back, and I'm going to show you how to take it off the loom. See, mine is about that long. So, um, I made mine, like, you know, the size of my wrist. I guess you could say I have a pretty small wrist, so you might want to make it a bit bigger than mine. But anyway, so to hook this off, it's pretty simple. We're just going to... Hold our limb in place and take the bands on this peg and pull them, just pull them over onto this peg so that all the bands are on one peg. And now we are going to take our hook, shove it in there and dig all those bands back so they're pulled down like that. And I'm going to hold this in place. Oh, oops. I always find this pretty hard, but it's I do it anyway because it still makes it easier in the end. So now that I've got that, I'm going to be holding that down, down with my pointer finger, and I'm going to take my other hand. has my C-clip, and I am going to let this release. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Or you can just stick it through like this. You just got to make sure that it hooks every single one of those. If you just push it down with the open side facing down, if you push it into the clips, that works usually. But it's kind of risky because you want to make sure that you grabbed all the bands or else all of your hard work will fall apart. <laughs> so I'm just going to, sorry if my hands are in the way right here, but this is a complicated process for me. I always struggle with the C-clipping part. There we go. So anyway, I'll just be right back while I mess with hand stuff. So that's why I cut this off. But anyway, once you have all the, all the bands C-clipped, and you can just take it off. You just have to make sure that all the bands are hooked or else your whole bracelet will fall apart. So now we're going to pinch these bands back so there's an open space in the C-clip and take the other end and just pop, pop, pop. hook it on there like that. And then we have successfully finished our French braid bracelet. See there's one side. There's side. I hope you guys liked it. Anyway, see you later guys.